Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Today I have something very exciting to show you, because recently I've been thinking, well, right now the boats in the mod are basically just oak boats, and we added a duck boat through the resource pack, so why not add another boat? So I went online, did some googling, found a model online, downloaded it, and imported it. And as you know, Nemo's Transit Expansion, NTE, now allows you to add custom OBJ models into the game. Before we dive into that, I want to talk about Shockbyte, which is a server hosting platform where you can have a server to play with your friends. You can also host the online system map on there too, so everyone can take a look at the railway map together. Go ahead and use the code MTRMOD to sign up and get 25% off your first month at Shockbyte. Click the link in the video description to learn more about it. So I'm at the resort, and let me show you what model I've added. Okay, so I went into kind of this lake area because it's a boat and I don't want to put boats on the ground. So let me show you with this decoration object and I'm gonna put it on this grass block. Bam! Look at that. Yes, this is a model I found online. We do have permission to use it because it's been licensed with the Creative Commons attribution, as you can see right here in this model. I found it on Sketchfab, so you're all welcome to download this here as well. Just make sure that you attribute the author and commercial use is allowed. So here I kind of put this description here with the attribution as well. Okay, so I'm excited to use this model because I remember when I went back to Hong Kong last summer, they were talking about the Star Ferry kind of going out of business, but now I think they're fine again. So I don't know what's going on right now. I just remember riding this with my wife across the harbor back and forth and it was fun and it's also really cheap as well so for today's video what i want to do is since this is my resort technically i own this piece of land right here so i thought it would be a cool idea to build a little ferry just maybe for a demonstration my render distance is kind of low so i raise my render distance a little bit Let's see where I can connect it to. So maybe just from this hotel to the other side, as a proof of concept, that would be good. All right, so this might be a great place to put the ferry terminal. And I have a demo over there. That's not going anywhere. But if I place another one right about here, then I'll be able to measure out how much space I need because in real life the star ferry terminal it has two sides so the middle ferry terminal is in the middle and then on both sides there are places where the boat can dock so I'm gonna try to copy that again here all right so I've built some temporary blocks and let me try putting a boat here that's like barely enough clearance on this side but <laughs> we'll take that. So that's going to be one side. And the other side is going to probably go somewhere around here. So I'm going to need to measure that out again. All right. So I made a little space for where the terminal will be. And then I'm going to put the boat here. So which means I'm going to have to clear out this little area so that the boat wouldn't crash into this landmass over here and same as well for here but yeah this looks a little bit narrow but we can always use world edit to move it later so this boat on the left fits pretty tightly against the hotel while this boat on the right has some space here but we also need to clear out this part right here so okay the next step is to actually build the thing and I have some Google images open so that I can get an idea of what the pier actually looks like. Actually, I'm thinking 
Before that, maybe we convert these into sightings instead, because right now I'm using this decoration object, which is not an actual boat, it's just a model. Like, we can't ride on it. So if I convert that to sightings, maybe we'll get a better idea. Alright, as you can see here, these are siding now, siding rails now, and these boats are on the siding instead of just the model renderer. This seems just a little tight, but... Okay, I also cleared out this area over here as well, so now there's just an empty space underneath. Alright, so now it's time to actually build the middle part, the dock itself. Alright, so I'm stacking this a little bit more than where the boat extends to because I'm looking at photos and that's how it looks. And then here it needs to curve around like a circle. Okay, I do think that 16 blocks might not be enough. So maybe we'll extend that maybe 24. Yeah, that's definitely not long enough because if... if the slope down here where you like get on the boat is going to be like at least four blocks. Then that leaves only this little portion down the middle. We want to extend that, maybe even double it I would say. Let's see how that would look. Alright, I moved it out and I made the curve using world edit. So how does that look? I think that looks pretty good, yeah? There's enough space, I think. Kinda hard to tell because there's no top-down view of the pier. Mm, I think it's slightly wider than it should be. Maybe I, if I move it back a few blocks. Hmm. Alright, look at that. Yeah, I think this is more to scale. Okay, so now I'm gonna build the side parts using this uh, polished blackstone wall. So how I'm going to do that, I think I'll just line the sides like this. No specific method. Oh. Well, it's not gonna be exactly symmetrical because this is an even number. Oh well. Or maybe I can... No. Yeah, I'll just leave it like this. And like that for the rest of it. And then the insides can have one more. Hmm. Trying to do sort of like an alternating pattern so that there's a bit more of a depth feel to it. So that when I add the polished blackstone, it can look cooler. Like this. You create like a bumpy kind of feel to it. I don't know how this will work, but let's see, let's see. Alright. Yeah, not bad, I think. Are there any other textures that I could use? I guess polish blackstone bricks. Alright. So that's been replaced. Maybe that can work, yeah. Alright, so now I'm gonna stack this part. Oh wait, stacking will be a bit challenging because of the way World Edit works with these walls. We have to do it on this block. Stack maybe 20. 20 is good, 21, 
22 would be perfect. Okay, now we stack this thing downwards. Like that. Well, <laughs> the water didn't fill the holes, so we're gonna have to patch that manually. As well as this part, we're gonna have to world edit regen this section too. Maybe if I use the bucket, will it automatically waterlog these? Like if I put water here, will these waterlog? That's annoying if it's not going to. I guess it needs to be the bottom block. Wait a second, if I go like this and I set this layer to stone, will this auto waterlock? Yes, okay, cool. This will auto waterlock itself. So before I undo that, these ones need to be waterlogged as well. These walls right here. These inner walls. Oh, you can actually see holes in there. Okay, these inner walls when they're waterlogged, they will hopefully generate infinite water sources inside this part. Which is what we kind of want. So after I do that, I'm gonna stack the waterlog pieces downwards. Oh look, yep. This part in here is now infinite water. Cool. So now I can undo the stone that we did and stack this waterlog section all the way down because right now the bottom ones aren't waterlogged. Okay. So now I'm just regening these positions real quick so that they don't look that weird. Probably strained the server a little bit. Alright, now the bottom is regened. Actually, I could probably do just the bottom layer regenning as well. Because there's like nothing in here. Okay. One more piece of blackstone and there we go. I think this is generated properly. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So continuing with our design, the black stone probably only goes up about two blocks because I'm looking at Google Images and it goes up only about halfway in these green windows. So let me cut this piece out and I've replaced that with some smooth stone slab instead. It's kind of weird because this is a half block. If I do move it down one block, then you're gonna be able to see it like with a hole here. Maybe that would be okay actually. Because in real life, you can see inside where the water is. Okay. Let me try doing that. So I'm going to replace these smooth stone slab with the top variant, which will make it look like this. All right. 
I don't know, if it looks weird, we can change it up later. But for now, let's keep it. Which means this part will also need to be changed. Perfect. Now we have the platform where people can stand on. Mm, this looks a little asymmetrical here. But that's just because of the way I put these pillars. Mm, can't really avoid that, I guess. I think this one is technically supposed to be a pillar. Okay, that looks better? Mm, not really. This one is a pillar. Yeah, now that's symmetrical. Alright. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But here, okay, here is where you board the ferry. And as I'm looking at this, the pictures online, there's actually a big hole over here where the the gangplank is deployed. So this should match up to the level of the boat. So let's grab some platforms, platform blocks. I think this one would look the best for this application. So this is basically at water level. Maybe one above. Let's try that. Is there a dark one? So this one actually has like a black texture down at the bottom instead of the stone one. So I think this one might be a bit more appropriate. Okay. So there's actually a hole here. Maybe I'll even put some black stone bricks to line the sides. Navi's here watching me build. <laughs> Okay, I made this hole here. Well, these don't need to go that high, I think. Just right about here. And then... We... I don't know. Don't know how to approach this. So the stone kind of just ends here. So this part will be actually where the slope is. Where it slopes up. That's how people get on the boat. And I'm going to need slabs for this because it's a gentle slope. It's supposed to be wheelchair accessible as well. All right, so I finished this part. I've added some of these railing stairs from the MTR station decoration mod. And I think it fits in quite nicely, even though the real railings are actually green. So the next step now is to build the sides. Okay, so I think this part can just use green concrete. Okay, there's some green concrete and then there's some windows here as well. And then there's a layer of white after it. Okay, that's the layer of white there and then there's even more white all the way to the top. And we have to be careful about where some of the holes for the windows are. So I think there's like about one block space that should be good enough for this white space and then the rest will be glass upwards. Alright, so an interesting feature of the Star Ferry in Hong Kong is that the upper deck is a separate fare because the air upper deck this part is air conditioned although this 3D model doesn't show the upper deck so we can only ride the lower deck right now but in reality the upper deck is air conditioned, except this middle part, I think. So it's a little more expensive. That's why there's separate fare categories for them. And this stairway you see inside the boat, this one, is actually not accessible by the general public. So it's supposed to be for staff only to get to the upper deck. So the two decks are separate. So we're going to have to replicate that in here as well. So maybe I can just copy this this design down here and put it up here. Although the space is kind of tight here, 
I hope this will work. All right, this works, I think. It is very tight, like, if you jump, you're gonna hit your head. <laughs> Maybe these side railings are not really necessary since you can't, you can't fall out anyway. But, okay, so in real life, these, the slope is actually adjustable based on the tide, but in Minecraft, we don't have tides. So these are kind of useless. Like, I mean, they're just fixed. Okay, so the upper deck will be right around here, which works, I think. But there's only a two block space between the floors now. Or if I use a slab, then it'll be two and a half. Still kind of tight, but good enough. All right, that looks really good. Or this part is exposed. Looking at some pictures, that's fine, I guess. And I'm pretty excited about this. My first time building Star Fairy or a Star Fairy Pier with the rest of the stuff here. So I'm pretty excited. So this part just goes across like that. And kind of hard to tell because there are not many Google images of this. If you have pictures, please send it my way on Discord. I would appreciate that. So it looks like we have a bit more, a few more pillars along here. I can't tell if this one block or two blocks. Doesn't matter, I'll just put an extra block here. Yeah, if this is not exactly to scale, I'm not too upset. Just something along the lines that people can recognize is good for me. And then we have to extend this part out a little bit to create an actual walkway for people so that they can enter the ferry terminal. All right, I built the roof a little bit as well. All right, after the roof is done, time to decorate the interior, I guess. But kind of lazy to do that. So maybe I'll let other people do it. I feel like that's kind of what I do every time. But maybe if I lower the roof one block, this won't look as awkward, but nah, I think it looks fine right now. All right, I've added these escalators here so that it kind of matches ground level here. And I've also added over here in this section where you exit. So you're only supposed to exit one way. So you, when you get off the ferry, you walk towards the exit here and these are one way pistons. So basically you're not supposed to re-enter. Kind of like a one-way gate because there are no fair gates here you just exit and then here's the upper deck exit that's the lower deck exit and as i mentioned earlier because the upper deck has a different fair system that's why they're gonna be separate okay so i just copied the piston system onto the upper level and i also put some barrier blocks because you don't want to be able to jump over the wall like that here as well because in the lower level in the lower level here the wall is blocked off but the upper level you can kind of walk through the wall maybe here I can just close it off as well depending on how the ticket hall is going to be constructed but yeah so that's complete now we just have to put the escalators down at the bottom and probably just clean it up a little bit and it'll be done. Just like that, I think. Uh, maybe it'll be good to have a stair access to the upper deck as well. Just like how here in the middle there's some stairs. Okay, now 
I'm going to flip this using world edit. Alright, the moment of truth. Paste! Let's do a double paste just to be safe. Alright. Wow. Look at that. The fairy terminal. You know one thing I forgot is to add lights, but yeah. We can do that later. The escalators, of course, won't flip properly. So instead of just breaking it manually, I think I'm going to replace those blocks with air. So something like that. Because if I break it with my hand, it's going to break the other blocks as well. So that's a quick little tip for you all. If you want to break stuff, complex blocks like escalators, and you want to use world edit to break it, replace it with air instead of breaking it by hand. All right, just putting down these escalators again. By the way, if you haven't checked out the new update yet, there's a escalator state for stopped. So up, down, and stopped. That's why you have to click an extra time now. Oh, I just realized there's only eight blocks here. So if I do double escalator here, there'll be no space for stairs. So maybe what I'll do is... I'll do... I'll do stairs and escalators side by side. How about that? Like that. So there'll be stairs on either side and escalators down the middle. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Maybe just put these upside down stairs down here. And there we go. The only thing is these exits don't have stairs. Which is not too big of a problem, I suppose. But the middle looks pretty good. Alright. And now this part, we can just finish up the roof here by setting it to stone brick slab. Smooth stone slab, I mean. Alright. This is looking pretty good. How does this part look? If I can stack this just all the way to the end, that would at least make it look a bit cleaner. Yeah, there we go little bit cleaner and then people can also come here to look at the fairies. All right, now we might have to mark this exit only, although it's kind of obvious already. I don't know. All right. Hmm, in real life, there's a gate right here so that you can't even enter this section when there's no ferry over here. So, might be kind of hard to do in Minecraft. I would I don't know how I would do it. Maybe a schedule sensor. Yeah, a schedule sensor would work. Scheduled sensor but with redstone controlling pistons here or even a schedule sensor with command blocks which set block to fill in the gate. But I'm kind of too lazy to do that right now, so maybe next time. But it is possible. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Maybe we should also add the piston system over here as well. So that people who are exiting won't come the wrong way. So pressure plates and pistons and these need to be full blocks so that the redstone can go through because a pressure plate on top of a slab won't do anything 
So we need full blocks and the pistons. Whoop. All right, that's done. So you can't exit this way. I'm thinking maybe I should put some signs here as well. So I know that the Star Ferry Company is not actually owned by the MTR. So they're not going to have MTR styled signs. But this is Minecraft. <laughs> we can be creative. All right. So these are how the signs will be configured. So when people come down here, ferries will be on the right. Exit will be this way and no entry back that way. This is also a one way thing here. All right. Now for the lower deck, we need the same signs as well. Although it's a bit trickier here because there's literally like no space. So maybe, maybe just a sign for the exit will be sufficient. Like exit to that way, like that. Or here, mm, still pretty squished. Like if I put signs right there, then they'll decrease the amount of space there is to walk around. It's okay. We'll do it anyway. So exit that way. All right. I have decided on this kind of signage. It does look weird because there's like no space, but good enough. All right. Putting signs here as well, and I'm thinking of making exits to the station right here. Okay, so this is still part of Kunwu Station. Jonathan's Resort. That's awkward. <laughs> what is this even for? Hmm. Maybe I'll just make a make a separate station here, and then make it connected to both Kunwu and the resort. So, like that even. And then I'll delete these extra ones. Okay. Alright, I've set up the stations as such. So Kunwu is connected to the ferry pier and the ferry pier is also connected to the resort. So with the ferry pier, I'm going to add a station exit U1, U for upper deck, like that, upper deck entrance and lower deck entrance. So here, if I put like this sign. This sign should be four blocks across. So this is lower deck entrance. Maybe I'll put the fairy symbol somewhere. Here. And then the this sign and here. Perfect. I'll copy this one and put upper deck entrance. Nice. What if I put the What if I put the other side? Oh, like that. No, I like this way better. And this one maybe if we flipped it like that. How would that look? D. 
down arrows. Okay, whatever, this is good enough. And then we need the station name entrance thing. Now that looks weird floating like that. So maybe I'll use like deep, uh, what was that? Not deep slate, blackstone. We have polished blackstone. Sometimes I like to do this just for the entrance sign because it can look pretty good if if it's like a white colored text on black like that. Like that. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we need to add lights. So clearing my effects. Hmm. It is pretty dark in here, especially in this passage. So if I add these ceiling lights, they're gonna be too low and people are gonna hit their heads. So I guess another alternative is to put light blocks, but that's kind of cheating and I've done that in a lot of places already. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just do it. So I'll just go like here. Oh. So I replace all the air blocks down here with light sources. So this Bottom part should be pretty bright now. <laughs> okay. Now... Except this part. This part over here has none. So I guess... Oh, don't want to do that. Because if I just right click these, they're going to change brightness. So I guess I just have to do these manually, or just have to... I'll just do it manually. Alright, there it is! My field of lights. Same thing for up here as well, I think. Or uh, maybe up here I can do a more decorative kind of ceiling style, like I've done with my other stations. Yeah, I will do that. Alright, this looks similar to what the resort is like, but that's okay. Now I will stack this, and if it goes well, the whole ceiling would be filled. So maybe five first. Seven. Eight. Eight is good. Don't want to go too far. Is there a pillar? No, there's no pillar down here. Alright. Cake is spectating. I have to fix these railway sign poles. But other than that, we're pretty close to completion. Except that we need to add the fair gates. Actually, maybe crossbars might look better. Because the connection up here is a bit awkward. Usually, the ticket machines are on the side here. And I put an inquiry machine. Alright. Yep, that looks good. Maybe I'll put a little sign here as well saying like upper deck entrance again. No, I'm not putting a sign because the bottom here there's no space anyway. All right, so you just go through here, you enter and exit, then you're here in the waiting area. So 
Hmm, these will actually be perfect for this use case. Because there's not enough space to hang one on the side. So if we put these here, this will actually be perfect. Maybe one here. Yeah, this, this location is pretty good. Like that. And then up here as well. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> it's kind of weird how the upper deck is so much more spacious than the lower deck. <laughs> That's just because the decks on the actual boat itself is not very spaced out. In fact, the floor of here is slightly even below the gangplank here. So either I have to scale the model up or yeah I don't know. Either I have to scale the model up or lower this. I won't lower this so I have to scale the model up. Okay that's a problem for another day. But I'm quite happy with our progress here today. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode right here. And in the next episode, we're going to actually get these boats to run. So right now, the station is here and the facilities are all in place. So people can just go in and take a look at the entrance. Maybe I should put a little fence here because you aren't supposed to go there yet. All right, these are my fences to tell people that it's WIP. Okay, so you can go in, but it's work in progress. I should probably put signs here as well so that people are entering at their own risk. All right. Cool. Okay. So Navi is just helping me put some vending machines using command blocks that he made. I have no idea how it works, but I trust that it's cool. So anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Please stay tuned for the second episode or the next episode where we'll actually get these boats to run, so I'm really excited about that. But thank you so much for watching. I have finished building this ferry terminal at Jonathan's Resort, so if you want to come check it out for yourself, you can join the server by joining the Discord. And thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!